everybody, it's Ernest with Garden South at Gingerbread Farms. Um, it's late in the afternoon, well, evening really. Um, today is Wednesday, August the 17th, I think. And um, I was uh, out and about, um, had to run some errands today. Um, it was a, kind of a busy day, but had to run some errands today. And I've noticed um, I had to swing by Lowe's to pick up a couple things. And I kind of wanted to show you that um, some of the uh, fall planted uh, dry goods are starting to arrive in some of the chain stores. So um, now's a good time to keep an eye out for those things and start thinking about where you're going to plant those. Um, I've got a whole new video coming out that's going to be talking about all the fall bulbs that I'm going to be planting. Um, but irises, um, it's a fantastic time to plant irises, especially like the tall bearded irises. Um, well, iris is really of any kind, but, um, uh, this is when I, I actually placed my iris orders probably in early June. Um, um, I like to order a lot of the specialty varieties that I get from like Shriners irises, but if there's an opportunity to find a few in the chain stores, um, or the garden centers, different places like that, and they're of good quality, like really nice size quality, then I definitely want to take that opportunity to scoop up anything that I can get my hands on, um, especially if I can get, um, you know, like a large abundance of them. Uh, so that's always a, always a plus. But um, I was gonna show you the three that I picked up because um, one of them is a brown iris. And this one is called Paprika Fano. So I'll just kind of show you that. So you guys can see that really good. And I'll do a snapshot around uh, a little bit around that so you can see that but um uh, there's one rhizome in here this is a good size fan um and these um you, you want to plant these in full sun or at least most day sun you know like four to six hours if not you'll get foliage but you won't get blooms and um you, you definitely want the blooms because that's what's you know sought after um these will get 38 to 42 inches tall so um, I've had them get even a little bit taller than that, uh, but you know they're just something I look forward to every every spring. My mom loved them, and um, they're quite. Uh, there's so many of them. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them, and um, they've been breeding them for years. Uh, some of the older varieties, um, which have gone out of fashion, people now are starting to look after and you know trying to try to pull back into their gardens now. Um, but anyways, plant these in full sun, uh, 38 to 42 inches tall. They space out at 12 to 24 inches. I'd like to get four to six. Normally I plant in groups of three um, when it comes to something like, like an iris like this. Uh, and I plant them kind of like in a triangle. And then if I, if I want a larger grouping of them, um, then I'll do them in sixes or nines. Um, and just plant them in a larger triangle. And I'll have to show you guys how I plant my irises. Um, but it's it's pretty it's pretty simple uh, Planting depth is four to six inches when you plant an iris You definitely don't want to bury the um, rhizome under the ground and just leave the fan sticking up You want the top of that rhizome Up above the ground level um, Even even in the winter um, our winters don't get cold enough to really damage them unless we're gonna have like super super like weeks of cold weather um, the likelihood is that it, it really won't damage the irises at all here in zone 7b so um you want to make sure that the the top of the rhizome is raised up out of the ground just a little bit so that that sun can bake it they love to be baked in the sun so uh, my iris gardens are um there's three long well three of them are completed and three more to go but there's three long 50 foot parterres um all the way down on the um east side of my garden um, and they house about, um, probably about 600 irises right now. So when it's all said and done, uh, with all six parterres, uh, the iris garden will actually house between 12 and 1500 all together. Now I do have a few irises here and there and other parts of the garden, um, just because, you know, I, I want like different clusters and features. Irises are remarkable, especially during late April, early May here. So you want to take that opportunity to, to get them. Anyways, um, 
let me show you the other two or three and I'll just kind of flip the camera around so you can see them all at one time. Okay, so these are the three that I found um, and I'm sorry about the lighting, it's kind of late in the evening. Um, but uh, I wanted you guys to see this early on. So this one is called uh, Paprika Fano. We talked about that one. And then this one is called Redneck Girl. This one has actually, you can kind of see in the picture, it's got a blue beard right here. So it's going to be really interesting. Purplish blue beard. And then this one is Pagan Dance. Now all, well, at least two out of the three I know for a fact have been around. That Paprika Fano I haven't seen before, but this one, this Pagan Dance, has this dark margin around the fall here, and then a um, orange beard. So I'm kind of interested in those, but um, just kind of showing you, you kind of see through the package. They're good sized fans. I mean, these are about the size, maybe a little bit bigger from Shriners. Um, they've got some green shirt, but look at the size of this one. You can kind of see right here. Look at that. That's, that's a good size for They were uh, $4.98 a piece, so not an expensive item. They'll multiply within the first year. Um, and then by the third year, I divide my irises out. So um, take an opportunity to go and, and grab some of these. I'm see which company puts these out. Uh, Vince Verdon puts these out. So there's that right there. There's their information. Looks like you can follow them on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Anyways, uh, yeah. So these are available. Um, I picked these up at Lowe's in Sanford. So you might be able to pick these up as well at your local Lowe's um, or anywhere that they're selling these types of dry goods. All right. So without going into a lot of detail, um, you know, because I don't want to steal a lot of thunder from my bulb video, but... Um, I highly recommend you taking time now to start um, thinking strongly about the about your plans for planting um, bulbs and rhizomes and and perennial plants and trees and shrubs stuff for the fall. Um, the temperatures, our summer's not over. Um, we still have about 40 days before fall, so I'm sure we're going to have some nice spikes of heat. Um, they were saying the humidity is going to return by Friday a little bit, so it's been nice. We very this is a rare treat for us in in the South to get a break from the humidity in August. It, it's just unheard of. But um, take the opportunity to start thinking about you know anywhere that you can start tucking in um, things like irises uh, now. So um, pick up a couple of those. You won't be sorry. Um, I think you'll you'll really appreciate it. They had blue ones and they had uh, pink ones that had whole great big bags of multi-mixed colors. You could you could do all sorts of things, um, anything that you want to do. And um, when my Shriners order comes in, um, I'll do an unboxing on that and I'll tag you. I'll put you guys, uh, I'll link these videos, I'll try to link these videos together. Um, but you definitely um, should check them out as well. They're family-owned business and they are, their work is phenomenal. I probably 95% of the irises in our garden come from Shriners and they are, they are remarkable people that do really good work. So, um, anyways, this is the garden south of Jayberg Farms. I hope, um, you find the video interesting and, um, take a look at the dry goods that are coming into the stores now. Um, like, share the video and, um, hit me up with comments and questions. I don't mind answering. Talk to you soon. See you around the garden. Bye.